There's a curtain on voting booths for a reason. They can't show that ballot to any other individual once it's been marked before they put it in the ballot box. For as long as New Hampshire has controlled its elections, the premise of not being intimidated to vote one way or another or buy or sell votes has been granite solid. You Rep can't verify that I voted as you asked me to vote or you gave me consideration to vote. Fast forward to the technological age. House Bill 366 adding an amendment on September 1st telling voters not to take pictures of their ballots or share them on social media. I went into the voting booth voted as I was going to vote and then took a picture with my cell phone and then later that evening when I got a chance I posted it to Twitter and said hey this is how I voted. But you knew that that was against the law? Uh, yes I did. North Country Representative Leon Rideout feels the ban violates free speech and that he's not alone. Under my post there were several others that posted their ballots underneath mine. And he says he's been contacted by the Attorney General's office. They won't confirm they've talked with Rideout, but deny that the amendment has added to their workload. We've gotten a few complaints in, um, but I won't say we've gotten any more than we typically would in a regular campaign season. The amendment lowered the punishment from a misdemeanor to a violation level offense. That means Rideout could be fined up to $1,000. Representative Rideout says he's already drafted the legislation to repeal the amendment in this next session. Reporting in Concord, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.